Welcome to the Math 1 Lesson Summary video for the task Getting Down to Business. The purpose of this task is to compare the rates of growth of a linear and an exponential function. So we have two businesses here that are described in this paragraph. We have Calcurama, which had a net income of $5 million in 2010, and then a competing company, Computifest, that had a net income of $2 million. The management of Calcurama develops a business plan for future growth that projects a net income of 0.5 million per year, while Computerfest develops a plan aimed at increasing its income by 15%. So since we know the purpose of this task is to compare a linear and exponential function, let's go ahead and identify that this is linear. So Calcurama is linear, and this Computerfest is exponential. And I can tell that Calcurama is linear because it says per year. So that, that indicates a constant rate of change, 0.5 million per year. Every year they're making 0.5 million more. And so let's go ahead and fill in that table. So in the years since 2010, well in 2010 it told us in the first sentence they had 5 million. So then it's going to be 5.5 million, then 6 million, then 6.5 million, then 7 million, and then 7 0.5 million dollars. Whereas Computerfest is going to be starting at five, sorry, starting at two million, it's a little bit smaller, and then multiplying by 1.15 for the 15%. So anytime I have a scenario where they give me a, a growth or decrease by a percentage, I know that this is a situation of exponential growth or decay because of the percentage. So we have 2 times 1.15 is 2.3. Multiply that by 1.15 and that's 2.645. I'll go to the nearest hundreds place. So 2.65 times 1.15. It's going to be 3.04. And then 3.498, which rounds up to 3.50. And then 4.0. So Right now, if I was asked to invest in each of these companies just based on this data, I might be tempted to say I'm going to invest in Calcurama because their income numbers are just better. They're higher. But that's what we really want to compare is how do linear and exponential growth relate to each other over time, which one grows uh, more quickly. And so we're going to need to make a graph of these situations. And to do that, we're going to need to write function rules. The rule that I used to fill in the table for Calcurama was a recursive rule. So um, I was looking at, let's use T for years, um, and I'm going to use I for income. So we were looking at I sub T equals I sub T minus 1 plus 0 0.5. And that was starting from I sub 0 being 5. On the other hand, filling in the table for Computerfest, so same thing, we have time and income. I was using a recursive rule, I sub t equals I sub t minus 1 times 1.15, starting at 2. So let's write explicit rules now for these situations. So my explicit rule is going to be I of t equals 0 0.5t, because we're growing by 0.5 every time plus the five that we started with. And that's the rule that I'm gonna to wanna to graph to create a comparison. And then over here for Computerfest, it's going to be I of T equals two where we started, multiplying by 1.15, the common ratio raised to the T power because that's exponential growth. And again, we wanna compare the two. So notice that Computerfest started lower, and I can tell that because of this number here being 2, whereas Calcurama started higher. But how's it going to look over time is the question that we want to answer. So I'm going to graph both of these in Desmos so that we can see. Okay, so I've graphed uh, Calcurama on top and Computerfest on the bottom. So you can see, as we saw in our table, this red line representing Calcurama is above the blue line. So at first, it makes sense to invest in Calcurama if you're only in it for 10 years because it's still higher 
for Kakurama at 10 years than it is for ComputerFest. Kakurama being at 10 million after 10 years, and ComputerFest being at roughly 8 million after 10 years, 8.091. But you'll see there's this point here where they are equal. So after 12.292 or 12.3 years, the company's incomes are going to be equal. And then from that point, if we continue to zoom out, you're going to see that over the long haul, which is what we're typically investing in when we're looking at, like, say, saving for retirement, ComputerFest, even though it started smaller, is exploding because of that exponential 15% growth. While Kakarama is still increasing steadily, but at this point, I want to be invested in ComputerFest. So I've transferred the graph over um, so you can have everything on one screen and can clearly see uh, the way in which ComputerFest over time outpaced Calcurama. So the big takeaway that we have, given that the purpose of this task was to compare linear and exponential growth rates, is that exponential growth rates grow much more rapidly over time, over longer periods of time, than linear. So an exponential growth rate is always preferable to a linear growth rate if your goal is to get bigger values over time um, as it is in this situation with investing thanks for watching um, if you need help specifically with the ready set go problems from the homework please check out the student support support site in canvas